The manslaughter trial of Naman Hussein is now underway. Just moments before our opening statement started this morning, one juror was dismissed in this high profile trial. Uh, juror number eight was replaced with an alternate, leaving for personal reasons. Yeah, this unfolded this morning as both sides prepared to deliver their opening statements in this trial. Witness testimony here in the Schoharie County Courthouse started around one o'clock this afternoon, right on the third floor inside the courthouse. Dan yeah, Levy has been sitting in listening to that testimony. He's come out now to join us live to fill us in on what was reported or what you've heard there today. Dan. Quite a bit in some minor fireworks just moments ago, which I will explain in just a few moments. Uh, six individuals have taken the witness stand on this opening day of trial testimony. All of them, of course, prosecution witnesses. And already we are beginning to see some of the early prosecution strategy. The first person to raise their hand and swear to tell the truth was a woman who designed a website for the limousine company that Norman Hussein was operating. Her testimony seemed to help establish that even though Shahid Hussein owned the prestige limousine company, his son Norman was indeed the man in charge of operations and the man who was authorized to make key decisions, including the hiring and firing of, of individuals and paying employees. Next up on the witness stand was a woman whose family moved into the Saratoga County Motel operated by the Hussein family. She and her husband were hired by Norman Hussein to help market the motel and to do some of the maintenance work on the property. And then the third witness was a gentleman who once worked for Norman Hussein as a limousine driver. He said he drove that 2001 Ford excursion many times, but not after 2017 because he says he wasn't comfortable doing it anymore. Now, the fourth witness was the insurance agent who sold the livery insurance policy to, this, to the Husseins. That gentleman made it clear that Norman Hussein was the go-to guy. He was the contact person at Prestige Limousine, and uh, he was able to make key business decisions. When when witness number five took the stand, there were some minor fireworks. That gentleman previously owned a limousine company in Troy, and he is the former owner of that 2001 Ford excursion. He is the one who hired a Missouri company to modify the vehicle to extend its size. But during cross-examination, Lee Kinlan asked him if he is the person who pleaded guilty to federal charges of embezzling pension money from the railroad. He was. And because District Attorney Susan Mallory never shared that information with Kinlan, Caitlin requested a mistrial. Now, Mallory said that she didn't know about it. Caitlin said all he had to do was look at Google, and he discovered it. So Judge Lynch denied that mistrial request. And right now, DOT Inspector Chad Smith is the one on the witness stand. He was mentioned many times during opening arguments as the individual who really discovered the troubled stretch limo, which led to various citations that rendered it unworthy, unroadworthy. And uh, that, for now, is the opening day lineup of witnesses. Keep in mind, we are expecting to hear more than 100 witnesses over the course of this trial expected to last four to six weeks. Dan Levy, thank you very much.